Be advised, we have an enemy fast mover spotted over. Hello, everybody. My name is Benji Soren. and this is going to be a jet gameplay. Now, this is actually going to be something different for me. I was uh, getting pretty frustrated with the air to air combat. Like, I, it's very hard to level up, in my opinion, if you go if you go strictly af yeah, if you strictly target uh, other aircraft. Whether it be a helicopters or jets, for a couple of reasons. First, they're kind of hard to take down, at least from my experience. I'm not very good at hitting them uh, unless they make a mistake. And secondly, since most people are running flares now, by this point in the game's release, most of the pilots have flares. It makes the air to air missiles a lot less effective. So I decided to adapt the role of air to ground with the rocket pods instead of the heat seekers. And I've had uh, a lot of fun with them. I'm getting a, a lot more points in the jets, which is good, because that means I can level up the jets faster and get the uh, you know, all the unlocks out of the way. And right there is a pretty douchey maneuver. I pulled up out of the, that attack run, saw the, that if I kept pulling up, I would have been right in front of the enemy fighter. So instead of pulling up, I hit the air brakes and pushed the nose down to go underneath him. Uh, instead of pulling up right in front of him, because I didn't want to risk him pulling off of my teammate trying to chase me down. Kind of douchey, but you know what? It keeps me alive. So, oh. Yeah, I'm playing on a map that does not have uh, vehicle regeneration, vehicle or health regeneration, which is pretty. Uh, well, it can be fun and intense. It's really frustrating when you're flying in a jet and you have to listen to it beeping for the next 30 seconds or so. Oh. <laughs> uh, but if you're curious to see, if you if you have the, the rocket pods unlocked, and you're curious to see uh, how much, you know, how fast you can level up and stuff, I would highly suggest trying them. You can see uh, it's very easy to get it disabled, but you gotta make, make sure you watch out for the, uh, the poles. <laughs> oh, that gives, leads me to my first tip. If you're going to be using air to ground in terms of the rocket pods, I would recommend going. Oh, it's a server also has instant vehicle respawns, which is great for pilots as well. <laughs> uh, if you're going to do uh, air to ground strikes, I would recommend coming up at a higher than normal al altitude. I'm trying to come down steep. Ideally, you want to come down on a path that'll let you fly straight enough to get all 14 of your rockets off before you have to pull up or turn away, or whatever it may be. Because if you can get most of the, most of those rockets to hit, you will be able you will be able to disable the tank that you're shooting at. If it's a main battle tank, if it's a light tank, you can kill it in one pass. Or if it's a jeep, you can kill it in one pass. Uh, infantry guys, you can slaughter if you come at a good angle. And like right there, I was hitting the trees in front of them because I wasn't coming in steep enough. But the rocket pods are very very useful. I'm surprised I did not start playing around with these earlier. Uh, the ideal flight path if you're trying to attack a tank is steep, a steep angle of attack, and try to hit the back of the tank. That way you can get the weakest parts of the tank. You see right there, I think I missed about two or three rockets and I was still able to disable that tank. I don't know if it was a full health or not, uh, but I was able to disable it. And like I said, you want to try and come in uh, steep and from the back of the tank for maximum damage against the tank. And you also want to look for targets of opportunity. In other words, if you see a tank that's spotted and it happens to be surrounded by infantry guys, whether it's your team or their team, or a little bit of both, odds are it has been hit by a rocket. And that makes the tank prime for cleaning up. Because if you get a tank that is hit by a rocket, or ideally two rockets, you can easily kill it with one pass of the rockets. And... Excuse me. And that's that's really a really good feeling when you can kill tanks with a jet. It's not even made to kill tanks. The you know the A10 and the uh, Frogfoot are much better at uh, killing jets, which makes uh, fighter jets killing tanks. Wait, did I just say A10 is good at killing jets? A10 is good at killing tanks, which makes the fighter jets killing tanks much more rewarding. I actually think the fighter jets are a pretty good option for trying to take out tanks for the simple reason that they are much more maneuverable than the A-10 and the Frogfoot. They can turn faster, they can accelerate faster, which makes maneuvering in low altitude uh, maneuvers much safer because you don't have the... And I, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I think that the, the A-10 is 
especially the A10, feels very heavy when I'm trying to turn it. Like it has, it wants, it's feeling like it's fighting me, like it's got a lot of mass behind it and a lot of momentum. It just doesn't feel like it's very easy to turn. Whereas the uh, the fighter jets have a very light feeling. I can pull the pull the stick and it's going to snap and turn really really quickly. And like I said, that makes for low altitude maneuvering very uh, very easy. And that's what you have to do when you're trying to attack ground vehicles. A lot of times, maybe not so much on the missile. The initial attack should always be fairly steep. I mean, on this video, a lot of times I come in fairly shallow. I'm still trying to work on coming in steeper. It's, I'm just not used to coming in, coming in at a steep angle. But it's it's the part where you're after you're done with your with your attack that you need to be able to yank that stick, hit the throttle, and really pull up and out of that strike before you hit anything. And that uh, leads me to another point, the last final point. When you're making your dive run, hold that air brake as far as you can. That way you slow down and you can make any mi minute aim adjustments on your descent. And as soon as you launch all your rockets and you start to pull up, as soon as you start to pull up, gun the afterburner and pull up. Maybe do a little barrel roll to shake off any people that are trying to shoot you down with rockets or anything. Just make, you know, pull up with full afterburner. That way you can get out of there fast because people are going to be trying to shoot at you, especially if you just blew up one of their tanks. So, I get disabled here. I'm going to bail out. And that'll be the end of this little tip video. Hope you guys enjoy it. And try it with the rocket pods. It's much more effective than you may think. Until next time, happy fragging.